Super empaths may seem harmless due to their kindness, compassion, generosity, and patience. But the truth is, they can be extremely dangerous. Every person has their good and dark sides, and super empaths are not exempted from both sides. Super empaths have unique abilities and skills that can build or destroy another person's life. It is up to them how they will use their gifts or powers. With that, you better be cautious when dealing with this type of empath. I am going to enumerate to you 7 reasons why a true super empath is extremely dangerous. Number 1. Super empaths can uncover your dirty little secrets. Super empaths have the power to read your mind and interpret your body language because they are highly observant. They study you from head to toe and observe every move and mannerism you make. And because of that, they can uncover your motives, fears, insecurities, and dirty little secrets. Super empaths can tell if you are faking your smile or even tears despite your excellent acting skills. They will know what type of personality you have just by observing you. The most dangerous part is that super empaths can expose your true dark colors to other people. They do not do it for smearing campaigns, but to warn other people of the possible dangers they might put themselves into if they get close to you. Suppose you do not have hidden agendas against super empaths or others. In that case, you should not be afraid of them because they do not have any problem with genuine people. They are only after exposing fake and cruel people for public awareness. If this does not sound like you, feel free to be yourself in front of super empaths. There is nothing to worry about because there is nothing for them to expose if you show your true self to them. Number 2. Super empaths can use your words against you. Super empaths are active listeners. Their ears are wide open if they communicate with or listen to you during your speech. They will mentally take down notes of keywords during your conversation and analyze their meanings at the same time. With that, you should be careful with your word choices because super empaths can use your words against you. They are keen on details and incorporate your words whether or not they match your actions. Super empaths are extremely dangerous to liars because they will mark their words and note some inconsistencies in their testimonies. No liar can escape a super empath's mind reading and body language interpreting skills aside from their excellent memory that can store information for a long time. With that, super empaths can remember almost everything you say to them. That is why expert liars like narcissists choose to stay silent around super empaths. Those egomaniacs are well aware of their rivals' abilities and skills. Super empaths can use against them to destroy and expose them. Number 3. Super empaths can mirror your behaviors. Super empaths have mirroring abilities wherein they can copy your emotions or actions. Their empathy enables them to feel other people's feelings as if they were their own. To do that, they put themselves in someone else's shoes to fully understand how it feels like to be in their situation. Super empaths mirroring abilities can either be beneficial or harmful to you. Just take note of this. Whatever emotions or actions you display towards super empaths, they will reflect on them and bounce them back to you. Suppose you misbehave in front of super empaths. In that case, they will copy your behaviors to make you see how unpleasant your manners are. It is one of their ways of giving you a taste of your own medicine. Aggressive people like narcissists hate it when they see super empaths copying their actions because they should be more dominant or superior to them. What some narcissists do not expect from super empaths is that they can be extremely dangerous. All they knew was empaths in general are kind-hearted and soft-hearted individuals. Number 4. Super empaths can go supernova. Super empaths may have a long patience and vast understanding of human behaviors and specific situations, but they have their limitations. They are experts at setting healthy boundaries to determine whether someone is already abusing their kindness. 
You are lucky if super empaths will just ignore and walk away from you if you get on their nerves. However, there are instances wherein they will explode in front of you if you piss them off too much that they cannot handle it anymore. And when that happens, super empaths rage will overshadow all of their positive traits. You will never be prepared to witness when super empaths go supernova. However, this supernova is just a temporary phenomenon that super empaths undergo when their patience hits ground zero. Like ordinary people, their anger will subside after several minutes or hours. After supernova, super empaths will reflect on their actions, fix whatever they have broken, and return to their natural traits. We need to vent our emotions from time to time, or they will pile up inside of us, waiting for the perfect time to explode. Thus, you should avoid messing with super empaths because they can be extremely dangerous when you trigger them to go supernova. Number 5. Super empaths are highly intuitive. Super empaths are not alone because their intuition goes with them every step of the way. It serves as their compass because it guides them to the right path and people while keeping them away from danger. Super empaths trust their instincts because they are almost always accurate. They rely on their situations when deciding because it has never failed to rescue them from harmful people and situations. Super empaths are extremely dangerous to people who have hidden agendas against them because they can uncover their evil motives through their intuitive abilities. Suppose you have evil plans against super empaths. In that case, chances are you can never execute them into action, or you may execute them. With that, you should never mess with them because their minds are so advanced and prepared to repel dangerous people in harmful situations that they may encounter in the future. Still, you will fail to generate your desired results. Number 6. Super empaths are great disciplinarians. Super empaths have the urge to control other people's behaviors for peace and order. They are highly disciplined individuals and want to impose discipline on other people. If they see you misbehaving in public, they will not just stare at you. Instead, they will confront you and scold you for your unpleasant behaviors. One of super empath struggles is they push people to behave appropriately. Still, not all people will conform to their principles and core values. They can be extremely dangerous to stubborn and disrespectful people. Super empath's pet peeve is when others make fun of serious people and events. They will treat those bullies how to treat people well and act accordingly in solemn activities. Number 7. Super empaths are punishers. If super empaths catch you in the act of violating a law or moral standard, they will not let you go unpunished. Justice is one of the many core values super empaths possess. With that, they will never tolerate any wrongdoing no matter how small it may seem to others. Super empaths are extremely dangerous to all violators of law and moral standards because they will not give up until these people receive their punishments. They will pursue them with all of their might to ensure justice prevails over evil acts. Super empaths believe these violators will only keep reiterating their mistakes if they are not punished and corrected for their wrongful ways. True super empaths are extremely dangerous to fake and cruel people because they can take them down with their mind reading and body language interpreting abilities. Additionally, their strong intuition will expose other people's motives against them and other people. Thus, super empaths display a strong, bold, and intimidating personality to counterbalance their kindness, compassion, and generous hearts. Are you a true super empath? If so, do you agree that you can be extremely dangerous? If yes, in what ways and situations can you consider yourself to become extremely dangerous? Does being labeled as such bother you? Does it make you question your personality? Or are you proud of it? And why or why not? 